G'day, didn't see you there. Welcome along to this video where I'm going to show you how to image trace. So um, you may or may not have got up to this point yet where you've got your um, key tag uh, outlined on your Illustrator file. Um, but when you get up to it, this is the process you go through to take like an image or a logo and make it um, into a vector. That's actually what we're doing. We're transferring it from a like a um, pixelated image into a vector and a vector is what we can actually engrave on the laser cutter engraver. So um, we're going to go through the image trace process, which is so simple. And now remember your, your emblem logo, whatever needs to be school appropriate. So uh, make sure you've done that. I'm just going to go and place the one that I've got on there. So we go file and then place and you should have gone and found your logo emblem online. Um, and saved it. I've got mine here, 91 Crows logo. Now this is gonna be huge, you can't even see it there. So I'm actually gonna zoom out to like 3% and I'm just gonna make it smaller there first. Now I'm gonna zoom back to fit on the screen. Now I can see it. So I've got my Crows logo here. I might make it a bit smaller, ready to go for the actual laser engraving. Um, so I'll chuck that over there. Now I need to go through the image trace process. Now, if you don't have image trace up along the top here, um, it's because your window is set up in a different manner. So what I would suggest you go is go up to window, go down to workspace, and use the Essential Classics workspace, okay? Um, all the tools are, in my opinion, uh, laid out better in that view, but also the image trace automatically comes up the top when you click on your logo. So I'm going to hit image trace, um, might take a little bit longer, that's okay, we go okay, see what it's done. Now, that's image traced really, really well. We actually own it, it should only be a black and white image, and that's done it very, very well. Um, you might find when you do your logo, it doesn't turn out too good. If it doesn't, just undo, so you go control Z or up to edit and go undo image tracing. And instead of just clicking the button, you can try these different options here, okay? And, and they might actually give you a better result. So, well, pretty similar result for me. So it doesn't really matter, but you need to find the right one. If it just doesn't give you a good result, potentially your logo might be a little bit too complex to go through the image trace process. Potentially you might need to find something else. We haven't quite finished the process yet though. We've got to come back up now. Once we're happy with the process that went through, we have to click expand, okay? And that actually finishes the process. What that now means is that this logo, if I click on the direct selection tool, you can see how it's got lines around everything. So everything's drawn in lines, um, which is what the vector is that we want. Now, you can see it's covering up my background. I'm gonna hover over the edge, click once and then hit delete twice and now I've actually gotten rid of that whole outside bounding box and it is just the logo. Now if I grab the selection tool it will move together. If I grab the direct selection tool I can just move little bits and pieces so we don't want to do that. Undo that to so make sure you're always on the overall selection tool there. That is my logo that is now image traced ready for engraving. All right all the best. 